Hi there, again, this is Scott with Tex Aircraft, and we just dipped 15 gallons with our dipstick. And uh, so I'm gonna put that into the computer system and I will show you a little bit of the cabin. Um, so what I do, go to menu, engine tools, fuel, just so I go when I start the engine, I don't have to do this. And I got, it says 15 gallons in the tank sensors. And so I can either hit match, which I will, and I can adjust it to exactly 15 because that's what I dipped and I accept it. So there's the fuel in, in the side here. Now it says 15 gallons. Now that will run on the transducer that's in line in the fuel system. And then our tank sensors on the right here are independent. Again, this is the Dynon system, which works really, really well. So master coming off and a little bit about the cabin. Um, we, I, obviously for the pre-flight, you're gonna check, make sure that the registration is on the door and visible to the pilot, which it is. We have the POH and the weight and balance behind the seat here, real nice, convenient. Get a look in the back. Um, wait, POH, folders of the weight and balance. So we're legal. Um, seat belts, really good. We have a Colt has hooker harnesses with this four point harness, like an airline style belt. And you would put the harnesses in together, connect, and you're good to go. So it's really nice harness system, again, to get out, lift up on the handle. We have um, door locks, which is really nice. Door locks go down for closed, and we got a latch up top, unlock, unlock to get out. That's how the doors work. Safety uh, fire extinguisher at the feet of the co-pilot should we need it. And um, just a really, a really nice cabin that uh, gives us some options. We have a six pin over here on this side, I guess, is the best place because you're closest. Six pin and traditional headphone jacks. We've got cabin air that comes in either the vents or on the window, which is really, um, really efficient cooling. And everyone is surprised that when it flies the cold on really hot days. And uh, flaps and kind of the, you know, radio controls here and autopilot controls that are, you know, also can be controlled from the main screen in the Dyna itself. We have USB, which is really nice for charging our electronics in the modern cockpit. And um, yeah, just a quick, quick introduction to a little bit of the Colt cabin. Thanks.